Hello Chafee Tigers! You're about to watch a video that was developed in response to an incident that took place here involving the N-word. But really, the use of the N-word has been happening for a while on this campus, and many students have voiced concerns about it. I know that no single video is going to fix this problem, but this is meant to be the start of a conversation that will continue all the way through the end of this year and next year and the year after. Because everyone that goes here, whether you're a staff or a student, deserves to feel respected, feel safe, and included. Thank you. My name is Chauncey Mann. As an educator, we often speak of the power of words. And as the BSU advisor here at Chafee High School, I just wanted to speak with you briefly about a very offensive racial slur that's being used by our young people today. It's the N-word. Like many derogatory names, it remains the primary term of racism. And for over three centuries, since 1619, this word was used by groups of people to remind people of color of their place at the bottom. Words have power and the history of words matter. In middle school, I heard a group of girls say the N-word, not to me personally, but another black student. I was driving into a parking spot that a white woman was waiting for, and she started throwing the N-word at me. I was about six or seven years old when I was at recess, and one of my classmates called me the N-word. It made me feel bad because no one should ever be using that word, no, no matter if you're black, non-black. I was really, really hurt. I didn't know what to say. When I learned what the word meant, I felt hurt that I couldn't stand up for myself at that moment. Today, through our pop culture, people have determined that by dropping the ER from the word and replacing it with an A, it becomes acceptable. We now hear the excuse. The N-word has been co-opted by the culture. The N-word is divisive, dehumanizing, repugnant, and can never detach itself from its historical atrocities. You can never disempower the word no matter how many letters you rearrange. All oppression in race, class, gender, ability, and religion, it all began with words. Tigers, words matter. They have the power to alienate, isolate, and do a lot of damage. They also have the power to heal and to uplift. So much of this is about being responsible for and holding each other accountable for what our words do. Stand with me against the N-word. Thank you for watching the video. I also want to say thanks to the students and staff that were either in the video or contributed their ideas or raised the concerns about what's going on on our campus. I think that we can make change. We just have to do it together.